Where are we going this winning on Wednesday evening? Oh, my goodness, Jermaine. It is exciting um, tonight for this Winning on Wednesday topic because I want to encourage the WOW listeners to get in position. I want to talk about developing yourself for your future purpose in the workplace. See, there's a phrase, and I'm sure many of you have heard this phrase. It says, oh, I stay ready to keep from getting ready. Well, most people, Jermaine, use that phrase to imply that they refuse to get caught off guard. And so I'm not sure how many wild listeners out there have at one point or time or another said, oh, I stay ready to keep from getting ready. Well, in the workplace, uh, many of us uh, wild listeners, when we think about it, we wait until a position is posted before we get in position to actually apply. And so tonight I'm talking about getting in position before you are um, extended an opportunity or that you see an opportunity before you. You see, wow, listeners, I want to encourage you to stay ready to keep from getting ready because what happens is many of us, um, we don't have the position just yet. And so for those wow listeners who are out there, sometimes we are um, anticipating a promotion with participating um, in opportunities that we think are going to pay off for us. So we may be volunteering, we may be serving on um, cross-functional teams, and we're participating in positions that we think are going to pay off. Well, I want to encourage you to begin to invest in your future. And so many of you are probably like, what are you talking about, Dr. Kimberly? Listen, you know I do not share um, um, anything without sharing biblical principles because the Word of God teaches us. It says, commit your plans unto the Lord, and he will establish them. All right? And so that's Proverbs 15 and 3, sharing with us to commit your plans. And then, my listeners, um, the Word tells us a man plans his way, but the Lord orders his steps. And I want you to really take a liking to the Word in both of those scriptures of the word plan. And so I looked that definition up because it is a noun and it is a, it's a thing. You can have a plan, which is something tangible that you can look at, or it can be a verb in which it is you decide on um, uh, or you arrange in advance. And so I want to encourage you all that if you are looking to advance, listeners, if you're looking to be promoted, to excel, or to even um, um, take a vertical or lateral position, and some of you out there may be even looking for an exit strategy. Mm. I want to encourage you that it will require a plan of development. See, some people say a plan of action, and at one point in your career, you will need to have a plan that you can actually execute. But tonight, I want to encourage you about getting in position requires development. And so in order to develop, in order to develop a plan for you to move and be promoted in position or purpose, there are a few practical things, Jermaine. Mm -hmm. One thing is I want them to determine your next move. How can we know um, our destination if we do not know or have a clue about where we're headed? Right, and right. so oftentimes many of us are in the workplace and we're going to work every day. We're going in, we're working our 9 to 5, 8 to 5, or whatever the schedule may be. But we are, we are working aimlessly with no intended destination. So, one, I want you to determine what your next position, performance, promotion, or purpose is in that role. Mm. All, right? All right? And then I want you to be able to identify your next move. Because when you identify that, you may not be in position, but it helps you to determine your development. Well, listen, there are two things that you need to understand. You need to ask yourself, what is required for the next level? And then what is required of me for the next level? See, that's two different things. See, what's required is a prerequisite. It's the responsibility of the job, position, role, okay? But then what's required of you closes the gap. Hmm. So when you think about it, although they are um, um, for the same position or same um, place, which is your next level, the, the now requirements are about development for you as an individual. And so what will it require of you to develop in the areas that you are needed for your next level? 
Number three, revise a plan to develop what's required. See, now once you have identified it, I'm giving you practical things because oftentimes we, we're looking for the how. We know the why, we just don't know how. So I'm sharing with our listeners on tonight the how, and that's revise a plan to develop what's required. What do you do and how do you do that? You develop your – see, when you look at your development, you say, in order for me to go to the next level in this position or in this company, I then now have to invest in myself, whether it be education, whether it be knowledge, whether it be experience, certification, or practice, you are going to have to invest. You see, your development, Jermaine, and wow, listeners, it's your passport to your next. Right. Right. And so oftentimes we just want to be um, put in a position, but we don't want to develop. So I encourage our listeners on tonight, get in position. You may not look like where you're going currently. Your situation may look a little different. You may not even like the people that you work with or who you report to. But if you know the destination of your development or, or the next stage you're going to and how you can develop to get there, then you'll get in position to win. And that's what we're talking about tonight on Winning on Wednesday with Dr. Kimberly Ellison. Get in position. Right. I like that, Dr. Kim. And, you know, you said some wonderful things there. And uh, it kind of speaks, uh, you know, so much in the black church. We talk about naming and claiming it, you know, but we name oh, it, yeah. claim it, and we wait. But you have to name it, oh, claim yeah. it, and then go to work and yes. work the process. Yes, you name it. You claim it, and that's a part of the identification. So for those of you who we look at that kingdom aspect of it or the religious aspect, it's, okay, I have the faith um, to know that I can help, uh, move forward in this, in this area, so I'm going to name it. That's mine. I, I believe in the promise. Well, if you know the definition of faith and the meaning, it is faith without works is dead. So that means faith is your work. So that means in order for you to accomplish what you just decreed, in order for you to be able to manifest it in that next level, you're going to have to put in the work. And sometimes, Jermaine, that requires development. That Mm. requires training. That requires sitting in a boring class but focusing in on that next level and saying, I'm going to get in position to develop because I may not be using it now, but I'll need it for the next level in my life. All right. Well, that is good. I tell you, we keep talking, but we're not. We are not. We're going to bring it to the end, Dr. Kim. Well, thank you so much for helping us win on Wednesday. Go ahead and share your contact information. People may want to hear more, see more. How can they reach you and I get a hold of your product? Absolutely. Go to my website, drkimberlyellison.com. That's drkimberlyellison.com. Sign up for that free resource guide for those of you who are out there listening. It's a free resource guide that you can, I mean, you'll get it right in your um, computer or your actual um, smartphone. And go ahead and connect with me on social media. That's Facebook and um, Instagram. That's Dr. Kimberly Ellison. And on Twitter, it's Dr. K. Ellison. I also want to share with you, we're in the fourth quarter, wild listeners. And that means you have in the last quarter of 2018 of your vision and um, for your career and your life. And so I want for 2018 goals. So I want to encourage you to go out and purchase vision on my website so you can get some practical strategies uh, with some biblical principles to make sure that you are ready for your next level. All right, Dr. Kimball, thank you so much. And we'll do.